Hey everybody, this is Beelit, and I'm going to be talking about the uh, new TGS gameplay, Tokyo Game Show gameplay of uh, Generation. And uh, I'm going to talk about the different things that I've seen so far, what I think about it. Um, and I, I want to, to kind of say ahead of time that I'm only paying attention, I'm only talking about the things that I have seen um, in, in the, the gameplay. I'm not talking about anything that they said they're going to do. Um, I'm not talking about... Um, things that have been rumored to happen only what I see in the game so first I'm going to talk about the substitution bar um, the substitution bar is new it is something that they just recently added from the uh, last time that we saw the uh, gameplay and there's four substitutions contained in the substitution bar it is separate from the chakra bar uh, substitutions no longer take any chakra at all um, not sure how I feel about that. Um, we'll we'll kind of have to see, but uh, it, it's it's kind of hard to uh, say how it's going to be if, if it's going to be bad or not without getting your hand on the game. But um, I'm I'm a little concerned about that. But there's four substitutions in this uh, substitution bar, and I'm not quite sure how they refill. Um, in one video I saw, it was a uh, I think Naruto against Sasuke, and Sasuke recovered two, two um, substitutions in this bar very, very quickly. Um, the only difference between the first recovery, the first substitution that was recovered, and the second one was that Naruto threw uh, Shuriken. So I, I really don't know the rhyme or reason behind the recovery, um, and it seems maybe they've still got some glitches to work out, so I'm not quite sure about that. Um, I don't know how turtling is going to be affected by this, because I feel like if people are going to see that they can't always sub, maybe they're just going to sit there and guard a lot more. And uh, something that we saw before was that you can no longer defeat your opponent by a throw. Now this is really weird, because that doesn't happen a lot in Storm 2, so it's, it, it hit a lot of people like, why are they doing this? What's, what's the point? Well, I'm thinking, and I have not seen a video that that uh, proves or disproves this, but from all the videos that I have seen, I have not seen a throw that was substituted. Um, now, that could just be the players, but if a throw is no longer able to be substituted, we all know it wasn't able to be guarded, so if it can't be subbed, then that could be defense against turtling. Um, and in case you don't know, turtling is just sitting there and guarding. And in Storm 2, it was very, very effective because people could just pretty much play with their supports. Um, and, and uh, you know, when they did get in trouble, they would sub and then do a jutsu or a throw or something like that. Um, I don't know if that's why they've taken out the ability to defeat your opponent with a throw. Um, because they feel like it's going to be really, really easy to, to get on your opponent, so they want to stop you from just pretty much only using that. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the auto-regenerating chakra. Now, I do, not, I do not like how the chakra regenerates. I think that that's pretty, pretty lame. Um, and something I've noticed, in generation, it's much faster. And you also regenerate chakra from taking damage, but you don't regenerate it from landing hits. I feel like that's a little bit weird. Um, uh, you, you'll see that if you go back and you watch this TGS gameplay, I might link a few of them in the description. If you go back and watch this gameplay, you will see that when you land an ultimate on your opponent, you're kind of giving them all the chakra you used on that ultimate. Um, and that's really... I really don't like that. That, that feels really, really bad. Um, I think that if anything, it should be the other way around, and you should recover slight chakra from landing hits, um, but that's just me. We'll have to see when we get our hands on the game. Um, I'm not quite sure how the regenerating chakra, um, how fast it goes. I felt like it was a little bit faster when the character had lost one bar of health or they had gotten within uh, range for the their awakening. I feel like it got a little bit faster there. Um, I don't know for sure, but it certainly looked like it. So that's all I know for now. I may do another video 
that uh, you know expands upon any new developments. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you found this informative. If you did, please uh, leave a like, leave a comment, favorite the video, subscribe to me if you haven't already. Um, but share this video with as many people as you can. And if you see anything that I didn't cover, if you think that there's anything worth saying, please leave a comment. Um, it'll help everybody else who comes to the video, and we can get a pretty good idea of what's going to happen. So, until next time. これが油の一族の戦い方。